Hello everyone. Okay, here I am to make a quick video. Thought this might be useful for those who are in a program and they're either feeling like they haven't found a good balance of how much work to do and I can share a bit about my perspective on how I pace myself. For many people who watch my videos, they may assume that I just am a hardcore person that goes hard all the time and that's definitely not the case. I'm someone who prioritizes a balance of work and non-work in my life. And I think that's actually what helps me excel at school. So when I was talking to my mentor the other day, she was asking a little bit about my process and I told her that generally I try at the beginning of a program, try to figure out a good goal for myself about how much work I wanna do in a given week. As background or context, in my first master's at WGU, I worked every weekend. When I did my second master's at WGU, I actually decided to work every single night. And I didn't work hardcore every single night, but I did try to maintain momentum by doing a little bit of work every day. And so kind of little by little, I was able to do a lot throughout the week. And there was points obviously in that program because I did it so quickly that I did work very intensely. And part of my intensity while working is actually focusing very deliberately on what I'm doing and not being distracted. I actually made a video, which I'll link somewhere, all on concentration and how that's a vital component of accelerating or doing school efficiently. But going back to pacing specifically, for me, I was trying to figure out at the beginning of this program, you know, do I want to do one assignment a day, two, three, or maybe a couple a week. And so I try to find, I try to look at my life, uh, what's realistic. And so for me, I'm doing part-time work during the summer while I'm not teaching as much. And I know that I have a good chunk of my day available for school, whether that's in the morning or afternoon, I kind of have an opportunity to flex how I want to work throughout the day. But then, you know, if I have all this time, why don't I just work all day? Well, for me, what I've discovered is about two assignments a day is a really good way of pushing myself with not overdoing it. But for someone else, that could be one assignment a day or one assignment every couple days. How I know that I'm not pushing myself and overdoing it is because generally I can work without getting frustrated or I can work without feeling tired or overly exhausted. Um, so therefore, you know, I might work somewhere between two to four or five hours a day at different points in the day. And for me right now, that, that works really well. Now, when I teach in the fall, I'll probably have to adjust that. Now, I could push myself. I could definitely do up to three, four, five assignments sometimes in a day. I could work all day. However, I have learned very much through my direct experience not to do that. And that is because I do not want to burn out quickly. I could do that for a while and I know later on I would hit a wall. And I've experienced that WGU where I did hit a wall kind of somewhere around the seventh course. And that's kind of expected because people get tired of working and at that time it was the summer and I just really wanted to go outside more and not be paper writing all the time. However, I do feel like I've learned a lot through WGU in that I don't want to over push myself because that wall will come sooner than later. I know that even if I have a bit of energy extra beyond maybe two assignments a day, which I'm actually doing right now, I really stop myself and I do things that gain energy so I might relax more, I might go on walk, I might talk to friends, I might cook, I might do things that I really enjoy so that I can detach from the work. So the way I see it, um, it's kind of like a metaphor that my friend, she talks about skiing, but my mentor, she talks about bike riding, talked about. So my mentor said, you know, she used to go bike riding with her friend and she would get really tired quickly, especially going up the hills. And her, her friend would just go, go, go up the hill with ease. And she would think, well, how? How is that even possible? Well, her friend said on the way down, they, they wouldn't pedal or they wouldn't exert too much energy and they were reserving that energy. And a lot of times people, as they're going downhill, they might still exert energy by pedaling. The key here is when can you reserve or save energy to go do harder parts within your day or within their exercise or whatnot. So going uphill, that exerts a lot of energy. So where can you reserve it? And for me, that's very important in order to do well in an accelerated degree and really figure out what that means for a chunk of your life. For me, I'm right now going semester by semester because I work in a university. So right now it's, a, it's the summer semester. And then in the fall, I'll reevaluate. 
And that also means that some people have a different way of pacing where maybe they will start off a little bit slow and steady and then pick up the pace later on as they get more comfortable and familiar. For me, I'm comfortable just kind of diving into things and kind of going through a bit of the chaos at the beginning, if a messy process to understand like, how does this course work? How does this program work? Some people that will drain them. So you have to be careful. What do you need to do to make yourself feel you're gaining momentum, but not pushing too hard? And where's that tipping point? That's probably the thought for the day if you're doing schooling. And I'm just very curious to know if you do pacing and how have you done it effectively? Feel free to share that in the comments below. Otherwise, I might create an update video on my second week at South College. Um, I've been continuing to do a lot of work, and so I just want to share an update, as well as a few other videos on how I'm doing things efficiently beyond just pacing, as well as some tracking tools that I've created to track all the assignments, because like I mentioned, South College, there's a lot of assignments, so I, I want to show that to you, and maybe you can create something for yourself. All right, if you stayed this long, Thanks for staying tuned and I will see you in another video.